This blue home is where the fire started earlier this morning. City officials tell us this house had been red tagged well before this fire started. And because there's so much garbage and debris all across this property, that meant this fire spread very quickly to neighboring homes. The fire was large and already spreading to nearby properties by the time firefighters arrived on Union Avenue. Witnesses had been pounding on doors alerting neighbors of the danger. I heard someone knocking on the uh, door, uh, banging real loud. We got out in the nick of time, in the nick of time. This family of five lived right next door. The flames so intense it damaged the half of the duplex they're renting. Now the Red Cross is stepping in to help. You know, I have my children and and it's like we, we, have, we are forced to start over and we just moved here. Lakewood City officials tell Q13 News the home had been red tagged. It's too dangerous for anyone to live there. But neighbors say after a recent eviction, squatters moved into the tagged home and garbage started piling up. The city says it had been in talks with the out-of-state property owner to clean it up. City officials said a hearing with a judge to determine the next steps had been scheduled for the coming weeks. It was a problem and now, you know, we have a bigger problem. The city says it also has an abatement program for derelict homes like this one and urges other neighbors to call City Hall or report problems to the city's My Lakewood 311 app. That's when code inspectors will begin investigating and work with property owners to help keep vacant homes from attracting squatters. But for this house, surrounded by smoldering debris, the city says it plans to tear it down as soon as possible. Now the neighboring family has to find somewhere else to live. We're going to find a new house. Yes, we're going to have to find somewhere else to live. In Lakewood, Steve Kiggins, Q13 News.